guys welcome back to the channel i do hope you're doing well if it's like this it's a very <laughs> unpredictable video isn't it it's actually the start of easter weekend and we are off we're a little bit behind schedule um we were supposed to leave at six latest and currently it's quarter past six kind of had a late night and didn't want to get out of bed um we are off over easter to edinburgh but this is day one, Good Friday. We're actually off to Newcastle to go and see Nan. So today, I don't know if this will be part of the main Easter vlog or whether it will be a separate one, but I'm not too sure how it's gonna go. Danny's packing the car with <laughs> trying to get everything last night in amongst filming and all of that jazz is, it's just a little bit chaotic. I have got my Shein little set on that is absolutely stained blue to oblivion. Can you see that guys? I mean, what's, it's already stained, so I might as well just have it for comfy because I think we're going to stop off a couple of times. Dan has, of course, got the most important thing, which is the snack bag. And, yeah, it's just a case of now packing the final bits of the car. Mama G, she is... Where is she? She's probably yakking away, putting the rubbish out. Where is she? Yeah, she's yakking to a neighbour. So, um, that's her. We've got the bag. We've got everything like that. I've took photos for brogan to send her the outfit pictures and yeah it's just the last few things i will be doing a bit of editing on the way down so like we're swapping dan will do a couple of hours driving and then i'll be in we all ready to go what's that noise he's got his hand gripper thing right let's get on the road right car is done everything is packed remember my gloves and i remembered oh well i need a hat i'm going to take a hat i need a hat just in case it gets cold oh do i go right i'm going hat and then i think i'm going to go beanie see what i mean guys last minute everything i'm like ah! i need a dark hat because my hair should we go with if i take that hat nan will remember should we take that one as well? We'll take that because it's got a pink thing on. Oh, goodness gracious, guys. Then I'll be like, what are you doing? I'll be like, hats. I forgot hats. And I'm going to take a little, little scarf. So we've got two hats, a cap, gloves. I say I've got everything. And then, oh, God, that is not a flattering angle, is it? No, it's not. Right. We need to fill up with petrol. And then on the road. Mum's out in the street in her snuddy which is great she's a uh, loving life and yeah we will what's she doing look at her in her snuddy can you lift the boot for me please can you lift the boot for me please look, at, look she's in the street in her snuddy hello all snuddies i forgot my hats oh. did you want a hat or anything i have a hat in my oh you remember your hat i didn't i just left it all in well, me you've got so many hats haven't you I've got a beanie, a cap, and then I remember gloves. I've got two pairs of gloves. Yeah, but you've got coloured hats with bubbles, haven't you? Yeah. I, I said, I left it all in my ice and coat. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I've got my peel. Oh, yeah. Right. And uh, watch the hair. I know, my hair has actually dyed it. I've took an old black top so I don't stain Nan's pillows. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. right, you'll see this one on Easter Monday. Hello. Adios. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Don't stop the video. It's just me. I'm just quickly popping in, guys. I am very, very excited to tell you this part of the video is very kindly sponsored by Hello Fresh again, guys. If you have not heard about Hello Fresh, where are you? Have you been living under a rock? Because you need to get to know, guys. You will know I've worked with Hello Fresh many times before, and the content just keeps getting better and better. Their dishes, mm, if you're like me, right, guys, and you come in from work, you don't know what you want to do. You can't be bothered to go shopping. You just need a plan and food. HelloFresh is the place to go, okay? You can choose between three and five meals, between two and four people, and you have over 45 recipes to choose from. So there's never going to be any part of, oh, they've not got what I want, because I can guarantee you they're going to have something that you want. It starts from £3.15 a day. That's cheaper than a Starbucks or a Costa. Like, and you know how much we all have our coffees. Maybe we should try and pick towards some good food of an evening that actually fills us up. Guys, when you get your box, you have all of your recipe cards. It is so, so simple. Even Mama G can do it. We have here a sweet and sticky sesame pork stir fry. Now, with these guys, you can choose luxury. You can choose quick and easy. You have 15-minute meal preps. I like the quick and easy because when I get in from work, 
it's normally rush rush and there's not enough time this is one when you want like a little bit of a bougie night we have an ultimate king prawn and chorizo stir fry and of course we then have a peri peri you will hear me waffling away guys and whilst i'm waffling away you will be seeing me cooking these but it's but hello fresh is hands down when i do not know what i need that is my absolute go-to and i mean just look at how simple and easy it is to create these stunning stunning dishes that you think you would have had a professional chef come in and do like come on guys it's not that hard follow your recipe cards and off we go so my lovelies if you scan the qr code or you use the code shannon24 that gets you 60 percent. yes that's right 60 percent off of your first box and 20% off of boxes and also with that you get a few little goodies every now and again you may get some cheesecakes in you may get a bar of chocolate this is when well, you want that little extra treat as i say last time i had some gui ghee cheesecakes absolutely rounded the night off perfectly but yes shannon 24 or scan the qr code wherever i put it on there guys for 60 percent off and then 20 percent off of further ideas. honestly if you don't know you you don't know unless you know do you if you want to give it a go check it all down below the qr the links everything will be down below it on screen guys and you will not be disappointed as i say there is every type of cuisine everything Honestly, I cannot fathom my words out for how much I love HelloFresh. But yeah, the cards, I have quite a stack of these cards now. And um, you know what? They're always partial for when I'm like, hmm, what do I want to cook? But I can't be bothered to go and get all the shopping. So HelloFresh does that for you. But guys, I'm not going to really grab it. I'm going to let you get back with the video. Mwah. Thank you so much, HelloFresh, for kindly sponsoring this part of the video. And let's get in with a little Easter weekend, eh? See you in a bit. <laughs> Devad, and they was actually really good hash browns so now we have i think it is how far till nans now nope i don't want to join wi-fi we don't want the tolls because we don't want to go over the time bridge no tolls three hours 48 but we will stop in weatherby weatherby is like the normal go-to stop and if you remember Weatherby was actually where I think I stopped and someone almost crashed into the back of my car. <gasps> I was going somewhere and I was like, that's my car. That's my car. I had green hair. Oh, no, I was going Peak District. I was on the way to the log cabin. If you remember that vlog, I'm like, that's my car. That's my car. Like, I was almost honking on the hooter. Dan said how it was like a lovely, peaceful ride. No road rage on his part, the driver. We'll see how it is for my one. But, yes, three hours, 48, with a little stop in Weatherby. Dan's got mini eggs now. He's got his snacks. And he's... Get it off my fingers. <laughs> we've just had the pasties. You've got your water. And we've got two cans of drink. And I think I'm going to devour my iron brew pastels. So. You know there's another bag of them in there. Is there? You found them. What? Is there another bag? <laughs> That's what? I picked them up from indoors. Oh, I thought they were my last ones. Today's a good day. <laughs>
quiet since you left, so don't bother. This is how I feel now. I never had it so good. there <laughs> let's put the camera away fuck it god I'm not gonna break in she took the key out
seen a lot of footage. We went down to the town and now I'm cooking the bacon or the bacon and cheese pudding rolls. Dan has never tried cheese pudding. Him and Nana are wafting away in the front room. He's never tried cheese pudding, so this is gonna be hmm, I've got the large white backs from the roll, from the roll from the bacon. And I've got this hot piece pudding, which I am very, very excited. Nan's also got sausages out, which I'm sure we'll take advantage of in the morning. But yeah, shall we get cooking with a bacon and piece pudding roll? I am so excited for this, okay? Get in my belly. If you're a, a regular, you'll know this backdrop is my little bedroom at Nan's. We had a gorgeous chippy dinner. I had cod chips gravy. The gravy was, oh, next level, thick. It was on par with Cleethorpe. Dan had a chicken stack burger, chilli sauce that was actually really, really spicy. And then we shared some chips. I've just exported two videos and then we're going to chill now and watch James and Ben's next vlog when they're in Hollywood Studios so yeah it's just gone half eight we're gonna watch that then hit the sack and then we're on the road for tomorrow I just went in and checked on Nan I like put my head to the window pane and she's like I see ya so I popped in she snuggled in there watching us so so she's loving life and yeah it's been really really nice um saw one of my uncles popped around with my, one of my cousin's little girls and yeah we was just uh having a bit of a chit chat went to go walk to the chippy and it was absolutely pouring down so we got just eat and then as i say now chilly and the rain stopped now which is good and i've just remembered i have to sleep back in the dark in here there's no night light i just remembered that that's the thing at night <laughs> You scared or something? Well, you never know if you can see shadows on the door. Well, do you want to sleep outside? No, I always sleep by the door at Nance. Well, you're running out. If there's any faces, you're going to see them. <laughs> yeah, I know. I will do so. Um, <laughs> we're going to hit the sack and say, watch this, get some chill. And we'll see you in the morning for Easter Saturday when we will be on the road to Edinburgh to see Pogan. Oh my God, this is going to be one of them for Easter vlog, guys. <laughs>
Becca's in her onesie. Bending over, probably not the most flattering of angles, but we are off. We are ready. Where is she? Oh, you're putting it on. I just emptied it into the recycling. Look at her in her snazzy onesie. Back on the channel again. Yeah, I like the onesie. You I'm, do. I'll be on all day now. <laughs> I'll not be changing. I'll only have your Uncle David coming, so... You just stay in that. So, yes, we are ready to hit the road. Are you ready? The weather is lovely. You and go. then you'll see this one probably again in June. Look, she's shrinking. That's shrinking. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hit the road. Guys, we made it. Only took two hours from Nans, which weren't too bad. We had some lovely scenic crews, but I don't know if I've got a ticket. Um, <laughs> there was a flash, and there was me in a car, and I don't know which one of us got flash, because I may have just been doing a tad over 70. Tad? Well, I was doing the speed. You're allowed 10% plus 2. It's if that's a myth, let us know down below. But as you can see, it is sunshine. It is glorious here. We've just gone on Give the Reg because obviously we can't check in till three. I do need a wee wee though. So I'm going to quickly hop and have a wee wee. Brogan and Liam are en route. And then we're off to the butchers. And we'll be here. It was a good drive up, wasn't it? It's lovely. Very nice. Dan's swapping from his trainers into his comfy walking boots. Got a lot of to do I know, I actually just stayed with my trainers. I was going to put my Converse on, I bought my Compeys, but I thought, you know what? Brogan says sometimes Edinburgh can be quite busy and people like treading on shoes. If they trod on my brand new Converses, I think I would actually commit. So <laughs> <laughs> I thought at least these trainers, they're not too bad. But yeah, I'm still debating on my jacket. I don't know whether this one or my blue suede. Fresh, though, even though that yeah, and I don't know like whether to maybe have my blue suede. Or, I know Brogan likes my Harrington jacket, so I don't oh. know. Oh, did you just hit your head? No. Nope. Please be careful. I'm okay. Are you okay? He's got a thing about hitting his head it's on the car. car. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna stop. Oh, okay. I, my hand's gonna go there as guidance like it used to for Nan, because he's just hit his head again. I'm okay. <laughs> the amount of times, guys, he has like fatal smacks on the head with the car and I'm like oh god please don't get concussion there you go, there you go. <laughs> bloody thing that's why we both have like bumps and lumps because we're just clumsy I've got chunks out of my head <laughs> right I'm gonna pop and have a wee wee you're all suited and booted we don't have a pop in do you need a wee or anything no. oh I need a wee wee to the point that I'm doing my wee wee dance so yeah let's get on the road and as I say off to the butchers first which I am so goddamn excited guys we are here S and Y McMaster butchers award-winning butchers may I add in Trenent. They won the award last year and it is very, very clear to see why. And you know that Shannon absolutely loves her food. I can't help it. I love my blooming food. And as you can see here, I was in haggis heaven. I was in sausage heaven. There's one thing I didn't pick up, which I definitely will try. Brogan, you'll have to remind me on this, is fruit pudding. Guys, what is fruit pudding? Please do tell me because we don't have it down south. 
look at this sausage meat with a roll of haggis or roll of black pudding you know i got a couple each of those they've got breaded chicken look at the burgers the wraps oh guys and they're fresh meats in terms of the chops the chicken the mince the steaks oh pies at the back dan of course had to grab a sausage roll i grabbed a little steak and haggis pie they have scotch pies everything you can even buy your little pots of gravy there and then on the other side they have a deli guys get down there goods are secured can't wait to get started down the top of that first butchers i know we're going to be living off of meat next week oh, no. guys if you're in trenin that's it trenin east lothian you need to come s dot V McMaster's S dot Y McMaster's butchers. And someone is finally here. Hello, we're here! Everyone's like, finally we get to meet Brogan. I'm like, yes, yes you bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna beat that one out. No, that's fine. Mum even swore on the last video and I was like, I can't be oh, bothered to bleep it out. No. What one? Uh McBang that's going up. Right. She said effing and I was like, oh, I can't even be bothered to cut it out. So yes, we have the goods secured. Dan's got his sausage roll because we all know. Here's a sausage roll. We'll have to see if they're on a set. And I've got a steak and haggis pie. <laughs> well, let's get the food in my belly. And then you can only have your debut and your chef. Hey! <laughs> oh! Bro, this is so getting us ready for tonight. <laughs> no one's going to jump out. <laughs> the north of David's Tower. <laughs> I can't even see anything, I'm going to get my flashlight, this is unacceptable. They can afford to like it, I'll pay my counter for that. The north wall of David's Tower. 
Okay. So this is like the original stone buried treasure where they used to hide the crown jewels. Oh, look at that. A hundred soldiers want to sleep from here. Wow. When you think of the room, a hundred soldiers. I know. Have you ever been to Poland? <gasps> That's on our list. Oh my god. Oh. Are you excited for the ghost tour? Oh, ecstatic. I'm very, very ecstatic. <laughs> Brogue, are you looking forward to the ghost tour? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be eventful. I'm so scared. <laughs> 
we will um, see. Hopefully, we should be able to. Is it the right place? Are we at the right place? Are you looking forward to the ghost tour? Popper. Yes. Cannot wait. Soldier Jack. Soldier Jack is the guide. Yes, and also TikTok. Yes. Right. We're trip advisor in that. <laughs> Let's go snoop. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Right in the middle stood this building here, the Market Cross, and this doubled as Edinburgh's kind of informal meeting point, information centre, entertainment centre for the whole city. And back in those days before Netflix, entertainment. Can I reach oh, no, you? Got touching. There we go. <laughs> Hands He's a rub nose. He's a rub nose. Good luck. Well, good luck. I came a fair time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, there we go. Good luck for the next year, yeah? Mm. Good, good luck, man. Good choice. Come on, dog. Got a bit of one behind. Go on, then. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. 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 I'
and then chorizo ones. But we've got like chicken crowns and the beer and honey mustard pork chops are screaming my name. So um, yes, you're probably thinking this is a very different Easter vlog to what we normally do. Um, as I say, I'm away and most of it will be either voiceover or like picturesque because it is our first time in Edinburgh and even though I'm filming, it was like first time meeting Brogan Liam and we just want to kind of absorb everything and as I say I'm getting little snippets here and there but it's not so many clips of me waffling at the moment but uh I'll be having a good old waffle when I get home but yeah I hope you're all enjoying the clips that we've got so far we went to a few little pubs we went into the Frankenstein bar which mm -hmm. and then I feel we went into bloody mulligans bloody mulligans and had a few there then we come back went to the flat come here saw the room had the ghost tour which 10 out of 10 guys it was a very very good ghost tour oh i need to um, actually check the bath and make sure i'm not flooding the place oh no it's okay is it hot though it's fine you don't want it where it's like scalding you know when you've got <laughs> oh yeah that's a bit hot coming out now let's just turn that down Sean. um so yes dan's just gone as i say to get some water and towel and then i think we will probably be hitting the sack and we're gonna try and be on the road tomorrow for about 10 ish because tomorrow we've got bowling we're off on like the farm shop got a sunday roast booked maybe even chuck a chippy in there and hopefully see some highland cows oh also i will probably show you when i get home when i do a little unboxing i'll show you the moving in gifts that Brogan and Liam got us also with the bits that I picked up from the Edinburgh Castle because you know that if there is something with a shop your girl has to have a shop and I absolutely thrived in the gift shop you got them all right? No. Why? Um, I paid for it how much for a bottle of water? Oh, One bottle. Oh god. Two pound? Two pound thirty. Yay size. And it didn't even give me the bottle of water. Oh no. Not a happy bunny. But very nice man at the desk turned around and said, I've got two of these, what they do. I was like, Thank you very much, sir, for your help. Would you write with the towel? And I've got another towel. Yeah. Oh guys, what a conundrum and I say. We um <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we had Sorry. a dog on the ghost tour and it came over and I was like do you think it can smell the sausage roll and the steak and haggis pie in my bag? I don't want the dog to come for me with the food. <laughs> what are you looking for? I was just thinking we got the bowls in the car. Oh shit, yeah, we've got the bag of food. Do you want to leave it there? Do are you want... hungry? Uh, do you know, I'm actually not. I'm thirsty. See, so this is where I think I'm again because I could easily probably polish off my steak and haggis pie right now. Really? I could eat. I mean, I'm, I'm better going to say no to food, am I? I mean, the sausage and peas pudding we could probably deal tomorrow latest. If we get up and we're not meeting them till... 10 I can run to the car because the car's cold <coughs> and I'll grab oh, the sausage God. and peas pudding Dan's really got into the thing of saying I I'm going to turn this off oh okay is it done I'm going to flood the bathroom it would say it's too hot as well but we definitely learned some things on the tour we went into the underground mm -hmm. caves and we was proper get down to the point we was the last ones and we was like oh my god another tour started and we're still lurking they were trying scaring me Oh yeah, Liam's scared Dan and if you if you know Dan and you try and scare him, you normally get an elbow to the face. So the fact that Liam didn't get smacked was it a was good a, a good sign. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna jump in the bar, freshen up, probably put the TV on and chill. And then as I say we'll be up tomorrow for another hiking day. How's your first day in Edinburgh been? Amazing. I said we're like proper little tourists now. I feel like a tourist as well. This is this, this is that. But then that's what we're going to be like for Brogan and Liam when they come oh, down to London. The thing is, how they show you around here, you want to do that for them there. Like you want them to see everything. Yeah. But obviously it's impossible. It's just the key points. We've yeah. got a little itinerary of what we think. We've been picking up bits and bobs today, what they've been speaking about. And we're like, yeah. right, we know. Definitely on the cards is pie mashing liquor. Yes, pie mashing liquor. Um, so like on the cards for us here was haggis. Like Dan's never had haggis. And the first place we stopped was, I think I had a clip for you guys, um, hot bagels 
and it was a breakfast bagel with haggis in, and you didn't mind it, did yeah, you? Yeah, I, I think I could actually eat that. Well, I've got um, Brogan's dad's homemade haggis. I said how much I bought with the butchers. I was, I'm in my element. You was. And all that for? Good price. Oh. I thought, I'm just going to take a trip over here all the time. Anyway, guys, I'm rabbiting. We will sign out for Easter Saturday. And we will see you bright and early. Well, maybe we'll have a little lay in too for Easter Sunday. I'm so looking forward to the roast dinner tomorrow. We'll see you in a minute, yeah. Good morning guys, from a very, very sunny Edinburgh, the weather looks great, oh, the weather is a better sight than what I am, I need to sort this pining out, whoopsie, it is lovely, I mean, can you see there, the sun is shining, la 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 la, we actually ended up, standard us, um, got back yesterday, after I last checked in with you guys, I had a bath, Dan jumped in the shower. And then we started to chill and watch Gavin and Stacey. And then I was like, mm. he had his jumbo sausage roll from the baker's and I had my steak and haggis scotch pie. I was like, you're feeling a bit pecky. She's like, I actually am. I was like, right, grab that, grab that shizzle. So we was laying there till about 1 a.m. Bunching on some pastries and pies, watching Gavin and Stacey, and then we was like, right, we need to get sleep. So we went off about one ish, and I think we woke up about seven ish. We still have like our um, body clocks are still five, six hours. It doesn't matter whether it's for work or weekend, but we're still that in that vibe. Um, today, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I feel like potentially hair up hair down I'm not entirely sure but it's from what I can remember from Brogan farm shop bowling roast dinner potentially chippy because we need to try chippy sauce and then we I don't know if we're doing a mini walk or we're just going to go to the area where like the highland cows are so I'm very excited about that and I actually looked I hardly got any photos on my phone yesterday it was like Dan and Brogan were taking them, so I'm like, you guys can just all send them to me when you're ready. Mine is all on my camera, guys. I've been taking photos, videos, everything left, right, sent off, but oh! me and Dan were speaking this morning, and we're like, right, the northeastern Scotland is definitely somewhere we're going to explore. So, northeast, obviously, my grandparents and dad are from Newcastle just outside one of the little towns on the coastal route and I'm like the coastal route I remember as a child like we went to sea houses and then I don't think I've ever been to any of the castles I've been to Cragside my granddad used to work down there but like um Annick and Berwick and everything like that my dad said he'd like to explore oh sorry guys all the um castles and areas so I feel that could be on the cards and then there is a lot here and Liam yesterday was showing us places in Glencoe and oh my goodness it looks amazing. Oh I think we're going to a mini waterfall today or like a natural spring park where like people can get off and go in. So yeah another eventful day. I need to start getting my shizzling gear. I was going to go makeup free because I thought if we're going hiking but I'm like no you know what makeup free Shannon will come in June when we're up here for the proper hiking like if I'm gonna meet Hamish today I need to oh it's damn blowing his eyes if I'm meeting Hamish today I need to look my best I need to be presentable for Hamish so yeah I'm gonna go and try and do that now guys I'm gonna try and be presentable and I shall see you when we're ready and I definitely don't look like this Ready, but I've got my trainers on this time. It is a quarter to them. We're just going to quickly pop to the car because I need to get my change of jacket. Dan's already he's got his hiking boots. We are good to go. And he's just checked the weather. And what is it? 14. Yeah, 14 degrees today. So the weather's supposed to be really good. The weather is sweet. Yeah. He loves a little morning sing. Sorry. Right. Got to grab 
some food from the car, have a little snack because we don't know if there's breakfast on the agenda today. If there is, I mean, we still love our food, we'll still eat it all. Mm. Bag, car keys, let's go for another day. Not in Edinburgh, this is gonna be more, I think, rural Scotland. So we'll see.
guys what a busy day has been Ooh, busy busy day we have done quite a lot of steps I actually haven't checked my step count but we started off the day right I need to remember everything because these days have been a very long and eventful so Rogan and Liam come picked us up we went into Portobello and we walked along the beach and had a little bit of breakfast as you would have seen. I had a croque monsieur, Dan had his pancakes and waffles, pancakes and waffles, pancakes and bacon and syrup. Um, Brogan had a roll, Liam had a porty scran and then we had a little walk around there, went into the arcades as you would have seen that I thought I'd won the pink toy that Brogan wanted and it freaking dropped at the last minute and I'm like okay um we then we've been around a lot of like the villages I think North Berwick East Lothian Edinburgh Portobello we went to Pickington, Pickerington, that was where we had our Sunday dinner, which, oh god, guys, was divine, absolutely divine, and, um, we then went to a waterfall, we all walked out to the waterfall, that's where Brogan and Liam went quite a lot in the summer, we then went to, like, the highest peak of where you can overlook Edinburgh, like looking over Arthur's seat and everything. If you're from Scotland or Edinburgh, you'll know, I hope, what I'm talking about. Um, it's near a Royal Observatory, um, and it's kind of like a lookout point. And there was like random benches along, people with like music and that blankets all just pitched up, watching the sunset, which was absolutely lovely. Um, we then went to bowling. Bowling was fun. You would have seen there, me and Brogan. Mm -hmm. Girls, who ran the world? Girls. We was bringing our A game. And bowling is definitely something like me and Dan love to do. So it was actually quite nice to do it as like a quad. Um, had a few drinks there. We did try and win another toy. It didn't work for me. So it was like, okay. And then from there, that was when we went to the observatory. And then we went to the chippy. We then went back to Portobello Beach, but it was quite cold. But there was a lot of people having campfires on the beach. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, if you're in the UK, like England side, I always thought it was illegal to have campfires on the beach. Like, we won't be allowed. Let me know if that is true, or if we are like Scotland, where you can do campfires on the beach, because that would, that would actually be lovely. But it was a little bit blowy and chilly, so it was like, you know what? We just brought back all the chippy here to the hotel 
and we all sat there and me and Dan tried the bits and bobs so you would have seen like an overview of the bits we had we also had fish and chips we had half a fried pizza we had deep fried haggis we had a smoked sausage we had deep fried burger and I think that was it and then of course we had loads of pots of chippy sauce now guys we don't have chippy sauce down in the south and Rogan swears by it and I always said like when I come out like we need to try it and it's vinegar and brown sauce if I remember correctly of which you know what I thought it tasted like saucy knickknacks so I very much jumped on hype. Oh, we got a gravy as well. I did like the gravy. Um, oh, oh god, guys. But yeah, that is um, the day's action. And tomorrow, we're getting up, driving over to Brogan's and Liam's flat. Then they're taking us into Edinburgh for a nice breakfast. And then back to theirs. And me and Dan will be on the road to come home. It has been an absolutely amazing bank holiday weekend and it's still not over because i've been holding out for my full english well full scottish breakfast with me uh, tatty scones yes look at me learning the lingo um but yeah it's been an amazing time and so now we're talking we're like right when you guys are down you ain't gonna what's hit you like actually it's a lot of pressure because they've been amazing tour guides and hosts and everything and we're like right we need to really we really need to sort ourselves out so yeah that's been the plan and now i've just jumped out the bath Dan's just in the shower gavin and stacy is on again and we're gonna hit the sack because as i'm talking you know when you feel like yourself talking i feel like i'm doing that which means i'm getting very sleepy so yeah i shall see you in the morning guys for easter monday when oh i also did get some bits at the farm shop we went to the farm shop as well because we saw the highland cows and the highland cows guys was very traumatic Brogan literally almost got stuck. I can't remember whether I'm going to put this footage in or not. I need to see because sometimes it's just fun to have stuff for like your memories or like our memories. Um, so yeah, like that was amazing. Seeing the Highland Cow up that close definitely was like, oh, yes, yes, yes. Like it was amazing. It did make me laugh as to how like... um docile they were like they really didn't care that people was there like we were trying to chuck some vegetables at them and they just didn't care so yeah how could i forget the farm shop with the highland cows that was the main thing today but yes guys i'm gonna hit the surf i feel a bit delirious and i shall see you tomorrow good morning and happy easter monday guys oh it's travel home day not happy not happy at all we have explored so much yet so little there is mountains of things to do up in scotland literally mountains um i don't know it's definitely now it's like oh and we can get trains and planes up here because brogan lima nearby so we're like hmm. i feel there could be a lot more scottish visits they will also be looking into what they want to do in London for when they come down. So this is all very exciting. It's actually, um, Dan said yesterday, it's actually nice to be the tourists being shown around. Because <laughs> normally we're just like winging it around London. But it has been lovely. I am feeling very meh. It's always like that on the day you leave a holiday and it? it's like come down like how have them days just gone like dum so fast not fair not fair at all guys i've got my leggings on with just a jumper comfy cozy and we're off to a place in edinburgh called roxall they was going to take us to a place and it was closed because it's easter monday so good job they checked actually because i should get in there <laughs> So we're going into Edinburgh to Roxall and we're going to have a proper Scottish breakfast with haggis and tatty scones and that will set us on the road. I was thinking, I, I think the halfway point may be like Weatherby area, then we can top up on petrol and do the last joint. Because I do think I could get home on my petrol tank 
I'm not chancing it. <laughs> I think I might be chugging like just Fuse. to the very last. Like I feel it would run to where it showed empty again. So we'll have a little top up, we'll have a swap around. I'm gonna do the first part of the drive and then You said I was. I was gonna do the first part. Okay. Yeah. And then we do the bit when we get home. Or I can do it all. No. no. Nice. Crazy. Because you're someone I'm, who can drive and you're gonna sit there and just do it all. It's I'm crazy. used to driving, he's like, no. You shouldn't have split to. Split it. So we're gonna split the drive. Okay. So now we need to get ready to check out. We've packed everything up. We've actually done good for time. Packed everything up. We're gonna arrange the car because when we get back to Brogan's before we leave, I've got to get all the meat out. And I bought a lot of meat, so that should be eventful. So we need to try and pack the car as best we can. And then, yeah, don't forget our Iceland coats. Dan's in the way of saying I now, and uh, then he'll correct it, he'll go, no, uh, yes, I'm like, you're in the lingo now. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Right, we need to get going, and then probably the next thing you'll see will be the breakfast. I'm actually really looking forward to it. Yeah. Get some food. Mm. You read my mind. Caught behind the Venetian blinds. How to reach for the city lines And this ain't where I belong Ain't hey, look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for something Digging deep since now What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all alone. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way, fell between the foam. There's traffic everywhere. <laughs> Bearing in mind, guys, we left at 10 and it said we were supposed to be home for 20 past 5. We're now not due to be home till 25 past 6. We're definitely taking the detours and all the routes and everywhere. Like, I've come off the A1. Something has happened with the A1 and I'm not too sure. It's been taking me off at every single point and even now it's like taking me off the A1 for about tons of junctions let's just say and then even when it joins me back to the A1 it puts me back on and it's red so I don't quite know what is happening to be honest the M1 looks bad it just looks bad so we're actually detouring through York so I'm like, okay, we're going to go. I need to fill up with fuel, though. Do you know how much the fuel here is at Weatherby? Now, Weatherby, you're one of my favourite services. I'm not liking your fuel prices. Your BP, pound seventy. You should only want be £1.44, and I can't be bothered to go on to the next one because, number one, I don't know where I'm going on this. So I don't know if there's services alongside. But £1.70, that's a bit ridiculous, whether it be. I mean, you was my favourite services because you have great food, even though I'm not eating here. Dan's just popped in for a wee-wee. I'm like, mm, I don't really know why that type of money, you know? So I'm not really looking forward to filling up because I feel like I've been ripped to do bub hole, basically. But yeah, he was like, you sure you don't want a pasty or anything? I'm like, nah, because tonight I want to do my um, 
sausages and mash. I don't know if I'm going to use the sausages from the butchers because I feel like I want to do separate videos with them. So that's how that's going to go, I think, because we've got to do two fakeaways this month with two bacons. So I'm thinking to do something with the pork chops and then the chicken. Or maybe the sausages and the haggis. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just drinking my cloudy lemonade. I've been having my iron brew pastels. And that's the way it is, guys. Fun, fun, fun. And it's absolutely been pouring down the whole goddamn way home. So, yeah. It's not the greatest, but I said the sky is crying because we've left Bonnie Scotland. But it won't be long and we'll be back up there. But Dan is on his way back now. So, I will check in with you. Probably when I'm home, to be honest. Because I don't know. Dan might actually get the camera out and do a few more montages. Because he has been... Uh, there's a little hair on you. He has been... um trying to do little things but it's hard because where the weather is so rubbish and the visibility you can't really see a lot but yeah i will see you whenever we see you adios oh and i've got to do my haul when i get back show you all the bits and bobs that i bought because yeah did buy a little bit i got carried away in the garden shop oopsie oh hello my lovelies it is the next day and yesterday we got back and crashed I can't lie guys, it took eight and a half hours coming back, it was a long old jump, it detoured us through everywhere to take off M11, I one traffic and it was just like, I want to get home, um, what a palaver this morning, went to go to work and Dan's car's got flat battery because it hasn't been started for a couple of weeks, so we're like, great, so quickly jumped into bug, luckily she had a bit of petrol left and it's now the next day and I'm just chilling. And I was like, you know what? I need to show you guys what I've got. I would love to show you the cakes that we got mum, but she's already eaten them. Already eaten them. So, <laughs> I can't show you that. And my one is in a bag over there, but I don't know what I fancy. I need to be good. We need to, like, get back on this health kick next week. Gym starting. I just found one of my earrings in the bed. And now I'm like, I don't know where the other earring is. I don't want to roll over in the middle of the night and find a pearl sticking in my tush, you know? But. Would it be a little getaway if I didn't show you what I bought? So, first thing I am going to show you is in this gorgeous bring on the bubbly bag. And this was home, new home gifts from Brogan and Liam. Because, fingers crossed, things are going through slowly. It's a very, very long process, guys. Like, it's not like I'm moving next week. I still think it could be anything up to six months. But, they got me a very, very lovely hamper of little bits and pops and the most important we got a wedding invite guys you don't know how excited i was to get this because this is like the first official thing that me and dan have been invited to and we cannot wait we cannot wait as soon as i saw in the bag i knew my girl and there is never an occasion with a little bit of white company she got me a gorgeous room spray her and liam of peony which is peony rose and honeysuckle and this smells absolutely delightful and then we have a lovely lovely candle here it's called hope and it is eucalyptus and cedarwood and it says to be open-minded and yeah this is going to be a very very special candle that i may not ever light this may be a decorational candle for the meaning of it. If not, it will only be burnt on a very, very special occasion. So we have that. And we also, she got me a little matching gonk. So I have a gorgeous yellow gonk to go with my candle. And then look at this. She was like, Shan, I can see this for the garden. Guys, look, she got me a gonk welcome sign. I say she, it's her and Liam. You guys know what I mean. But, oh my goodness, I was like, yes, yes, yes. And, of course, I will be leaving all of the details for her parents' butchers down below because mum looked in the freezer last night and was like, Shan, did you buy the whole shop? I was like, mum, I was in my element there. I was like, I would genuinely drive up there. I'll be like, once a month, hey, guys, I'm coming up for some stock ups. Thank you, because I cannot wait. I think I'm going to get some of the sausages out tonight. We're going to have a not a movie marathon we've got two episodes of shogun to catch up on last week's and this week's that's out tonight so tomorrow we're gonna have good old-fashioned sausage mashed peas but i think i might do what might i do i might do the caramelized onion and red pepper ones because they're calling my name 
And then we have a few little bags in here, my lovely. So when we was at Nan's, you would have seen, we popped into a maritime centre, which I have never been there in my life, which baffles me, to be perfectly honest, absolutely baffles me. And Dan laughed because there was a section in there and it said, um, oh, see dolphins. And he's like, Pfft. you can actually see dolphins in the northeast. And it told you what you can see. And the man said, oh, yeah, we've seen dolphins like over in Blythe. You see like the seals coming up. Dan's like, we went all the way to Iceland to see whales and didn't see whales. You're telling me we can see them in the northeast. I'm like, potentially so. So I picked up a little leaflet. And then you know me. I picked this up because this is St. Bartholomew's Church. And it also has the couple sculpture on there. And I just thought it was a really, really lovely painting and it said new big and couple in St Bartholomew is from an original watercolor by Robert Thompson an artist who specializes in Northumbrian scenes so I was like you know what I like that that was £2.50 I am a sucker right the gift shops up north are cheap compared to down south so I tend to get carried away when does Shannon never get carried away then I picked up some postcards and Dan actually had a good idea because wherever we go we do like to get pens and magnets and stuff like that, but we would always get a postcard. And Dan has this idea of a giant cork board in a house and just pinpointing the postcards and take one off and read the back. Well, I never write on my postcards, but he said what we could do is maybe write the date that we was there and the location and then just a little thing of what we done, how we felt that day. And I was like, you know what? I'm vibing with that. I love that. So I picked up one of the sculpture which this is the couple out at sea like in production um and then i had one that was all about northumberland because it shows all the castles and we actually saw annick castle on the drive back and bamberg so that is definitely somewhere i think we're going to have a little explore because dan really wants to look at hadrian's wall so i feel that could be something definite and then the new big and by the sea it just shows the little trade rocket i feel like it's oh it's the lifeboat house it shows st bartholomew's it shows the maritime center and it shows the couple so i don't know which one will be written on because obviously i don't just buy one postcard because i like postcards for the memory book which the memory box from the lockup has to come out soon because i need to go through all of that i need really need to start scrapbooking guys i got that scrapbook when we was in lockdown and we're not in lockdown anymore so oopsie i do keep all my receipts as well not just for the fact of like so you know how much we've paid but i also like to keep them again for my memory box hi my name's shannon and i'm a hoarder and then i got a few other little bits and bobs i got a big magnet with the puffins of new bingham by the sea because i thought cute can be our little thing for nans and then i got some geo stones and these was only three pound when i tell you as i say the price is up north are just ridiculous they are british fossils rainbow geodes and you know me i like my crystals so i was like we'll get some of them to try and then i did pick up a little placemat i got bits for mum and dada as i've been about and what i need to do is actually like decant them so that i know who's got who because if one has more than the other there'll be murders guys there'll be murders because they'll say why has he got more why has she got more so we've got as we go along divide them into a pile for mama g and dada the next lot is from the gift shops at edinburgh castle now guys you know me i do love a good gift shop and i can't help it that i bought a fair few things but i think i bought quirky things so for example oh my goodness i'm just chucking everything out here this coin was four pound and i love coins coins thimbles i actually love everything Taking me to a gift shop is probably some people's thing of like a worst nightmare because I do get so carried away. But I think this could be cute to go into the cabinet. And it says Edinburgh Castle on the front. And then on the back, it just says Scotland, Britannia, Francais, et Hypicarin? I don't know. But it's to do with Edinburgh Castle again. And I thought, you know what? I really like that. So I got that. That was £4, and then I got this pen, which was £3.50, but not only does it have Edinburgh Castle on it, it also has this bougie crown. Look at that. So, yes, I do have two big plant pots full of pens for my travels. This is going to go in the good pen pile, okay? That's going to go in the good pen. I need to put that aside because, as I say, 
I need to distinguish between Mama June and Dada. I then did get a pencil. And now I got this because it was velvet. And I thought it was very, very bougie. And it had the crown jewels on. Which we actually done the little bit inside to go and see the crown jewels. So I was like, you know what? It's only fitting. And I think this was around £2.50. I mean, I will never use this. You're never going to catch me sharpening a pencil and use it. But you know me. I like everything. Everything. I even like it that much. I got a bookmark. If you remember when I went away to one of the other log cabins, we went to a castle and I got a bookmark from there and I saw this and I was like, oh, it's pink. Get in my basket. This, if I remember correctly, was around £2.50 and it's just a pink leather bookmark that says Edinburgh Castle and you have the little bits and bobs there of the castle, which as I say, I'm a sucker for. I can't help it, guys. And then we got some gorgeous postcards. These were 50p each, which I didn't think was too bad. Postcards down home can sometimes be absolutely astronomical. So we got one which shows the castle from the top angle. It's from the Ross Fountain in the Prince's St. Gardens to the castle. And then we got the Honours of Scotland, as I say, because we did go and see the Crown Jewels. So I thought that was very, very fitting. Oh, God, there's just receipts everywhere, guys. Receipts, receipts, receipts. Oh, I've got another magnet. This is the Crown of Scotland. This was, I think, £4.50, kind of like from the National Trust section. But I just thought this was really quirky. And I just realised, guys, we actually did go and see the Highland Cows, but I didn't get a Highland Cows stuffed toy. Kind of breaks my heart. But I did get some other Highland Cow bits, so I can't really complain. It's not like I didn't get anything. Oh, my goodness, this I was, like, getting my little hands right now because there was no basket or trolley. I don't think they expect people to get so carried away. Like, I was literally holding everything. And this is a bottle opener, but I really think that this can be, like, put on... A little hook like if you had a tiny little hook on there you could hook it in the kitchen but how cute is that it's like the key to the castle but it's a hook and you know me normally i'm silver but i saw this and i was like mm, i like this and it's quite weighty as well so i got a little quirky something there and i then got this little dram glass this was nine pound fifty if i remember correctly they had hygiene ones they had big whiskey tumblers but i just wanted a little glass for my cabinet you know what i'm like with my cabinet guys and it says can you see that edinburgh castle with the little outline so yeah i saw that and i was like oh because i don't actually think that this will be like the first and last time we go to the castle because we was all just mesmerized by it because it was a thing of beauty and it was a lovely lovely day and i got a thimble i was so happy i didn't see this around the uh, little shop and then when I went to the checkout, I was like, oh, this was 2 50 if I remember correctly. And you're probably thinking, thimbles are so old and people see them as tat. Well, you can think of them as tat, darling. But I love a little thimble, okay? And look, it's just a little thimble that says Edinburgh Castle. And I liked that and it made me happy, so I bought it. And then we went, oh, got myself a key ring. Now, I can't remember if I got this for me or for mum. I'm going to have to have a little look. I got this key ring, which says Scotland, Scotland, Scotland. And it's a little bear in a kilt. It is very, very heavy. And if I remember correctly, this was about 5 56 quid. But it is heavy. So I'm thinking that can go in the maybe pile. Because I actually don't know who I got that for. Whether that was for mum or me. I'm not too sure. Um, then there was one thing that I wanted when I was out there. I was like, I want to get a traditional tartan scarf. There was loads of shops, guys. You had House of Kashmir, House of Scotland, everything like that. I picked this up in the House of Kashmir. And look, it even comes fancy pantsy in a bag wrapped. I was like, yes, please. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. Some of these, some of the scarves started off at like 20, 30 pound. Some went up to, well, I saw one for 250 pound. I had to think sensible, okay? So I picked up one, which was, funny enough, the House of Balmoral. And that's somewhere that Dan really wants to go. He wants to go to the Balmoral Castle for Queenie. So I was like, you know what? That is a sign. I don't want to unravel it fully, but it's kind of a red, grey, cream one. I wanted something that was very versatile. I did see one which was pink, white, and like a purple. 
but I would think with that I'm very limited to what I could wear it with. This I feel I could get away with so many times and yes there was tartan bags there as well guys oh my goodness i had to refrain myself when i tell you refrain myself i had to refrain myself because i'm like i can't be spending all this money on stuff but i think the bags were 45 starting off from they was like um little messenger bag styles and then obviously you had the bigger ones and then the big one we went to the garden center of Klondike, Klondike Garden Centre guys, and when I tell you, I walked straight in and I was like, I'm going to need a basket, bro, because like, I think you are, and I walked in and I was like, oh, hallelujah, the boys were off looking at garden furniture, lawn mowers and barbecues and everything like that, me and broke had a little look at the barbecues and then we was like, right, where's the homeware, that's what we need, the homeware, so, first off, I picked up two big bags of crisps, one for us and one for Dada. These were two for five pound, and they are Wagyu beef and honey mustard flavor potato chips. So this is what I say, guys, when I have to say like I have to think mum and dad. So mum's got her coaster, and that's that. I'm not going to try these because I think actually what I'm going to do is the things that I've got from the family butchers, as well as like little snacks or whatever. I'm actually probably going to do random cooking videos or maybe a weekly in Scottish food perhaps because i've got like haggis sausages tatty scones everything like everything from that butchers it's just gonna be a mcmaster's butchers award winning video they was award winners guys as well did i tell you that i think i did but just in case you didn't know they are award winners then of course i should have actually got myself one but i just got mum one this was 10 pound which i thought was really really reasonable they had a darker version, but I was like, no, I like the pastel version. So, yes, I got mum, I would say a little gonk, but it's actually quite a huge gonk. But £10, I actually thought that was really good. So, right, mum's got her coaster in there. There was something else for Dada. Now, where are you? Another receipt. Receipts galore. Receipts galore. Let me pop that in there, guys. Where's Dada's one? at the bottom i always normally whenever i go away i always get in like some form of cookbook so this one was slow cooker recipes 500 slow cooker dishes the only compendium of slow cooker dishes you'll ever need they had loads of these as well they had like your air fryer vegan vegetarian but i just got him like a little book and this was only 4.99 now i don't know about you guys but our garden centers down here their cookbooks are astronomical price and I saw that, and there was just about five, six in the set. And I'm like, oh, oh, I could get them all. And Brogan was like, well, just get a few. And I was like, I'll just get him the one that he actually needs. Because as I say, I do normally always get him a cookbook. Whether I think the la latest one, was it something to do with soups? I am absolutely terrible at taking these types of stickers off, guys. Does anyone else feel my struggle? Or am I just really cack handed at doing it? I have to really focus because I'm like, oh my god, have I gone red? I look like I've gone red through stress trying to get this sticker off. But yeah, so I thought, well, he loves his slow cooker. I should have actually probably got us a cookbook. But I do have more than enough cookbooks at the moment. So potentially not. But yeah, that's it. They've got two apiece now. They can't moan. Oh, pea and ham soup. Okay, so he's got that as well. And then... This is where I got some little bits for one. Oh, okay, I've got mum one extra thing. And I don't think I've got Dada one extra thing. Oh, no, he might have to actually have both sets of crisps. I got myself a Hamish the Hine and Cow bookmark. Now, if you remember correctly, guys, I can't remember where I was, but I picked one of these up. It's in there somewhere. It's in my big pile of bookmarks because, yes, I may have a bookmark collection. But I got this, I think, with a fox or a hedgehog on. But look, it's Hamish, the Highland Cow. Could it not? And then I saw the one with the donkey. And obviously, Nana G loved donkeys. So I got me one and I got mum one. So actually, I think I might have to give Dada both packs of crisps. Yes, because otherwise that's not fair. Um, and then I picked up these little gongs. I'm thinking of these um, for maybe an Easter tree. Obviously not yet, uh, next year. But 
I need to see, they might be a bit too heavy. These were £4, which I didn't think was too bad because, like that proper china, guys, look. Little gongs. These were £4 each, which I think for a garden centre, I didn't think was too bad. Because, as I say, sometimes garden centres are like, whoo, ripping a new bum, aren't they? But, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this garden centre. And they had a farm shop. Like, Brogan was like, I don't think you need to take veg back. I was like, oh, you know me, though. If I could, I would. But probably didn't need to take veg back. But uh, we got a leek and a cauliflower to go and see the Highland Cows. Which I can't remember if I kept the clip in or not. But if not, I've kept it for our memories. Was the most funniest experience of my absolute life. Like, that will be a highlight, I think, for all four of us. Whenever, if Brogan and Liam go back to that place. Or if we see anything to do with the Highland Cow. That is the image and the scenario we had ourselves in. That is going to be like just us now forever. So... Yes, it was a very, very eventful day. I got myself a little book. Well, I say I got myself. Me and Dan got a little book. We like travel books. So, of course, we've got like Reykjavik and London and everything like that. So, we got this one, which is DK Eyewitness. And it is the top 10 Scotland. So, top 10 lists for your perfect trip. And there's maps. And honestly, there's everything. Because we're looking into like road trips now. What's that? Oh, that's a little paper version of the map, I think. Okay. It's got Central Edinburgh. It's got absolutely everything in there. So this was $8.99, which I didn't think was too bad. So we've got our little pocket Scotland thing. So as I say, Brogan and Liam are doing their list what they want to see in London. And then now we can have a little look for and be like, oh, well, what do we want to see in Scotland? All over Scotland. And then, oh, I got this for the cabinet. This was five pound. It's a birthstone heart. And it says, a symbol of goodness and beauty, handmade by craftsmen using recycled glass. And of course, I got May because I am emerald. But I just saw this and I thought, number one, it's got a hook so you can hang it. Oh, there's actually ribbon in it as well. So you can hang it. And I thought, how gorgeous would that be? But I thought of it more in like a cabinet laying down. But yeah, they actually have, oh goodness gracious, the ribbon in there. So you can have it as a hanging decoration. Love that. Absolutely love that. And then we picked this up for the house. Because like, we're starting to get little bits and bobs and that. And we wanted something that is going to be a memento for our first time at Scotland. And we didn't do whiskey tours. Which I think will be next when we're up. The boys love their whiskey. Me and Brogan not so much. But I'm sure we can work around it. And they had a decanter set in this uh, garden shop and it had Hamish like inscribed and it had two glasses and I think it was about 60 quid and Dan was like right when we come up and we actually do a whiskey tour we'll get a nice bottle of whiskey and we'll come back to this garden centre and we'll pick that up because I don't see these bits going like out of stock or out of fashion this seems like that staple core Hamish range um, they had like cheese platter boards and everything. Honestly, I was in my element. So it's by Selbray House. And this was a Highland Cow bottle pourer. And I'm just like, you know what? This is a bit of me. So you put it in, but it actually then comes out of Hamish's mouth. How gorgeous is that? This was £18. So it was a little pricey, but he's heavy. He is heavy. And I was like, you know what? We'll just get this because I could have gone way over TT. Dan was like, we're coming back, Shan. Like, don't think we're never coming back. We're coming back. I'm like, I know. And then I've got two canvases, guys, as I say, starting to get little bits and bobs. And they will be for memories. Donkeys. Now, if you remember these, these are the donkey frames that we have on the Christmas pillow that mum got. And also the... No, someone got mum the pillow and then I got the summer canvas. This is a baby one. And of course I had to get Hamish. Look at him. And these were £15 each, which I didn't think was too bad because they're from a local artist. And I absolutely loved them. And I was like, you know what? Next time we go, we're going to get even more. <laughs> so I did have a very eventful trip, guys. And as I say, we've got some lovely bits, lovely memories. And yeah. We had an absolutely amazing time. Like uh, Me and Brogan was voice note this morning. And we're like, how are we back to normality? And the weather, can I tell you today, the weather has been shite. Absolutely shite. Raining, windy, cold. Like We was so, so lucky with the weather up there. And yeah, here's to many more adventures, guys. As I say, you probably only saw 
snippets of them and like what we got up to and a lot of it would have been like um voiceover or music but it was our first time as say mine and dan's first time ever being in scotland it was our first time meeting brogan and liam we wanted to embrace it i still wanted to vlog however though because i didn't want to be like oh i'm going away for four days like see you late guys not going to do anything i still wanted to experience it because it's still memories and documents for us and yeah cannot wait to see where all of the many memories will take us now because next thing you know we'll be up in edinburgh they'll be down in london we'll be meeting in random places york could be on the cards for christmas as a catch-up yes 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 please but guys that is the end of the vlog i do hope that you have enjoyed this as i say i know it's different to previous ones please don't come gunning for me but it's we may do with what we could do and we just wanted to relax and enjoy everyone's company and see what scotland has to offer and as i say for the tiny tiny little bit that we've seen we are excited to see the rest of scotland but yes guys if you did enjoy that video you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below let me know down below what your favorite part of the vlog was have you been to scotland are you from scotland any places that you think i need to go things to do places to see even if it's a little local country pub that does a sunday roast me and bro are gonna here for sunday roasts okay the boys love a sunday roast so do we we're all here for it any natural bits any castles you recommend anything at all whiskey tours is there a particular whiskey tour that you think goes surpasses everything else is it the johnny walkers is it the one just by the edinburgh castle let us know all down below but guys take care stay safe as always and i'll see you in the next one bye